Really since the beginning of time, financiers have not only been viewed as not productive, but also as evil, as bad, as immoral, because they're making money from money. They're making a profit. And we've always, in our culture, viewed profit with suspicion as something inherently immoral. But what is profit? Profit is what we make from providing services, from creating values for customers, for other people. It's the reward for having a new idea. It's the reward for being more productive, for creating something new or something better or something cheaper. Profit is a virtuous thing. When people make a profit, it means that they've created something, they've built something, they've made something. What could be more virtuous and good than that? If your standard of value is human flourishing, is the well-being of human beings. When somebody else makes a profit, it means that they produced a good or service that I will probably benefit from. My life is better off from their profit. I actually celebrate when I hear that companies are very profitable. In a free market, profit represents virtue. It represents productive activity. So in the book, In Pursuit of Wealth, The Moral Case for Finance, Don Watkins and I make the case that not only is finance a productive endeavor, but by enhancing human flourishing, by making it possible for us to live better, more productive, more enjoyable lives, finance is a noble, virtuous profession. And the financier who is using his mind to figure out who to invest with, who not to invest with, which products are going to be viable products, which are not, who is taking vast amounts of risks. He is acting to enhance his own life by providing us with the values we need in order to enhance our lives. I can think of very few professions, if any, more noble than what financiers do. So all of us are better off. Our lives are better off because of what financiers do. They are responsible for the allocation of capital throughout the entire economy. They make possible the industries and the products and the services that we all consume that enhance all of our lives. And the financier does this by applying his own mind to the problem of human existence, to the problem of how to create the products and services that we all need. Now, if we value human flourishing, if you value human success, if you value human life, then one has to recognize the nobility of the field of finance.